Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from bat... Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't... I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hog... Following a Hogwarts treasure... Wonderful! You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of... Very well. Fair enough. Meet me back here. Rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? The stairwell looks promising. Harry Pippin, sir. Lumos. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Revelio. Lumos. I've taken to studying during the day in our dormitory. No one's there and I'm fast to my heart's content. Did you get your bit through? Revelio. Made any progress with your hello? He shooed me out of there, but not. I found what I believe is an authentic. His oh, that seems as though we. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. 
Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might be interesting. Revelio. Levioso. Lumos. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Growing pungent onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, Today, we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. 
Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting detony at Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mockgrass. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my staff this already. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in wick. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your finger. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomp. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that. Now chomp them so we can get their mouths on. Mum planted a garden last year to keep the gnomes out. It did save her. Expelling office, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards aren't. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but 
Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above from Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other... You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Rebellion! I'll see you back in class. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her man. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Rebellion. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pot. Only cost me my damned hearing. as in the Great Hall. Rebellion! Be all resolved with someone from the ministry guarding the school. Rebellion, the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Luke and Brattleby must have nearly wet himself on you on every single crossed once battle. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. 
Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide you. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology club. Others, however, may be harder to obtain. And come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd... I simply need a single Fwooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the... I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Well prepared. Revelio. Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the foot. Brilliant! You should get back to Brook. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Expelliarmus! Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for you. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say, I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the... I'm glad I was able to meet your expect. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're... 
In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he talked about it more. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book. Revelio! I'd like to talk to you about it. See a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just... The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys. And they appear... You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy... Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Revelio. and a historian's uniform. Dalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Handy resource indeed. 
There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Excellent. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into it. Brilliant. What? A curious... T Looks like some sort of... I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard... I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Ravenclaw house chest. Revelio. Accio. Expelliarmus! Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. It 
It's a relief to finally have an art dress to wipe out. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Salem. You know that down from fire. Revelio. Accio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Levioso. Incendio. And listen to our song. Revelio. Convenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Revelio.
Revelio. Expelliarmus. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. It's me, Gareth. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired. You and your concoctions. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried bil. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. They I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to honey. I don't know. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in... Oh, fair enough. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help... I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift. It's broken though. Revelio. That seems to have done the trick. Rebellion. This castle will never cease to surprise me.
Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Levioso. Incendio. Repair. One more to go, and I'll make it across. Let me open. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. That did the trick. Revelio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. Revelio. find the dried billywig stings for Gareth. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Revelio. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. 